Hi everyone, my name is Andrew. Uh, I work at Petova, I'm one of the other guys who works here. Uh, and we want to tell you a little bit about our, our new product that we're launching. Uh, it's absolutely phenomenal, you know, we're really passionate about it. And we hope that after this sort of explanation, uh, you will be too. Um, we call it uh, the TDS, the Transform Distribution Server. And uh, we'll get into it now. So essentially we started this off um, because we've seen a lot of people that have created local transforms and they've had a lot of issues sharing them and uh, setting them up, especially people who, are, who work in teams. So for example, if you had a team of say just five people, then on every computer you'd have to set up the environment, you'd have to set the variables, you'd have to install say Python or whatever libraries were being used. Um, you couldn't update the code very easily because you'd have to go and set it up on each machine. Um, and if there was any sensitive data within your code, say your username and passwords, an IP address where you connect to, then it would still be it would be an issue that you'd have to have that on on other computers. Um, so so what we've done is we've essentially created this thing that we call the Transform Distribution Server. Basically, you can think of it as a, a web application that uh, you will log into, and basically you'll be allowed to you'll be allowed to manage these transforms. You'll be able to set uh, the settings for these transforms, so pop-ups that happen be able to say where they run, um, who they're available to, so what seeds they're in. Um, a seed is, is basically a collection of transforms. You can think of it as a container for transforms. So if you had 10 transforms and you wanted five of them to be shared with these guys and five with the other, you'd put them in two seeds and be able to share them with your team like that. Um, the way that we've done it now also means that you wouldn't have to set up any of the environment variables on any of your five analyst PCs, you just have to set it up on the one machine that is going to be running the transforms. And it also means that if at any stage you had to update your code, uh, you wouldn't have an issue with it because you'd only have to update it in one place and no one would have to do anything that essentially just get the updated code. Uh, it also means that you can keep your code secure, you don't have to share your code with everyone else and of course you don't have to share any of your sensitive information with anyone else. So basically here's a little diagram of, of how it all fits together. You'll have a, your analyst team, uh, each with their own Multigo GUI and their own computers. Um, they obviously don't need to be in the same place, they can be anywhere in the world. Um, you know, these could be three offices. Um, and essentially they would, they would then uh, discover your transforms from the server because you've given them this unique URL that you've set up with these transforms that you've designed. Um, they would then they would then discover these transforms and get them within their GUI. Um, then they would drag the entities on that they were using. They would run one of these transforms, which would then send the data to this transform distribution server. And then that server would then communicate with the server that you've set up with your, with your transform on. Uh, this would then change the data, whether it's doing scraping or, or modifying data, looking up in the database, practically anything that you wanted to, um, and then send, it, then send it back to the transform distribution server. Uh, this server would then reply with a standard protocol to each of the GUIs and uh, yeah, they'd be able to use your transforms uh, without having to set anything up and you know, with only minutes of, of real setup in their, in their actual client. Um, a more, a sort of more technical idea of how it works is that each GUI, so each individual Multigo client will communicate to the TDS via Multigo protocol. You obviously won't have to have to manage that. Uh, the TDS will then speak to your server that you've set up uh, via an HTTP post uh, with XML that contains all the information. Say for example you were running it on a person, then the XML post that your server would receive would say, hey, there's a Multigo transform that's being run, it's on this person, they've got this first name, this last name, um, and any other fields that are filled in there. Uh, you would then be able to, to fudge that, do whatever you have to with that data. Um, and then you would basically just return an XML response in the right format. So you'd maybe return an email address that you've got for this person or a telephone number that you've looked up in your database. Um, we have created some libraries. There's a PHP library, there's a Python library, and of course there will be more in time as people start using it. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into just basically how to use this, uh, what you can do with it, and show you a couple of quick examples that we've made and uh, a more advanced example later on. So yeah, we, we really hope you guys enjoy this as much as we do, and uh, we look forward to seeing your transforms.